On August 15, 1971, Vita Blue raised his record to 22 and 4 as the A's beat the Yankees 6 to 4. Blue masterfully scattered 10 hits and scored the tie-breaking run on a wild pitch. He would finish the season at 24 and 8 with a 1.82 ERA, earning him not only the American League Cy Young Award, but also the American League MVP. On August 15, 1977, in a 2-1 win over Kansas City, Boston's Jim Rice hits a third-inning double and became the first Boston player since Ted Williams in 1939 to hit 20 homers, 20 doubles, and 10 triples in a season. Between Williams and Rice, only Charlie King Con Keller in 1946, DiMaggio twice in 48 and 50, and Mickey Mantle were able to accomplish this feat. On August 15, 1996, Frank Thomas hits three homers for the White Sox, becoming the Chai Sox career home run leader, but Boston wins 9-8. Thomas hits his first two off Tim Wakefield, giving him 214 bombs to pass Carlton Fisk, who caught for both the White and the Red Sox during his career. On August 15, at Fenway Park in the Battle of the Titans, Boston's Babe Ruth outduels Nationals ace Walter Johnson, winning one zip in 13 innings. Ruth is now 3-0 in his meetings with Johnson. August 15, 1955, Mickey Mantle homers for both sides of the plate in the same game for the second time in his career, tying the Major League mark. The Yanks beat the Orioles 12-6 in Game 2 and sweep the doubleheader to move back into first. That was August 15th, This Day in Baseball.